Hello, welcome back to RimWorld. I'm lost and hopefully this colony is going to keep growing. Let's see. Uh, putting in power, finishing the power room, the fridge, the deep freeze. Alright, and eventually some lights. Because lights are important. Nobody doing construction is number one. Blitz, you're supposed to be doing construction. You are doing construction. Good. You're running the power lines. Excellent. Did I put this to sleep? No, I just moved somebody off, I guess. We're getting close. We're getting close. Look, look, they've gotten so much done. Let's put in... Sandstone? Sandstone. And the power lines that need to run for it. put in an electric stove here, and we'll put in a butcher table here. Mm -hmm. and once those are done, we're out of things to mine. Which means both of them should immediately switch over to production, or to building, construction, and we should see a huge amount of work get done quickly. Yep, Tater just ran down that line putting in power lines. Mm. Oh, heat wave. We need these prioritized then. Blitz, please build the cooler before you people die. And you build a cooler as well. And you, Tater's getting those. Okay. So for right now, we're not gonna use it as a fridge because we don't want everybody to die. Instead, I need to a simple vent for equalizing the temperature between two rooms without allowing people to walk between them. Towards the side. Oh, I already have a vent. So what I can do is hold this open. Hold that open. Uh, Blitz, I need you to walk in here for me. Mm -hmm. Good, you've done what I needed. Thank you, Blitz. Because that will let the heat through, or the cool air through. So this, whoa, unroofed. Where are we unroofed? Um, you must, yep, yeah, it's that little gap there. Okay.
Alright. Oh, and then we have the problem of not having any batteries. So, let's start with the batteries. Well, at least they aren't terrible. And because I know I'm going to need them, we'll mine out these components. And I know there's iron in here, so we'll... Yeah, we'll just carve this whole thing out. We'll put in walls if we need to. Eventually I'm going to try double walling some areas because that's supposed to help with insulation. Let's put in some light for the people. Let's prioritize that battery. Thank you, Blitz. You have bought me just enough power to lose power overnight. Well done. Oh, burger pots. Let's see what we got. Meat. Well, it's right there. Let's grab it. Actually, let's let's not grab it. It's just gonna go to waste. It'll rot. Okay, so are we short on components? We've got four components. We've got 500 steel. So no, I'm not short on anything I need to build that. I am low on components. You probably need to fix that, but... What do you know? Components. There's 91 indoors, and 112 here, and 111, 75 there. It's like the doors still block the airflow. We'll have to do something about that. Let's take that out, we'll put in a medium cooler. Nice, and now all of our batteries are connected. having ideas. I'm 
I'll probably end up moving these beds eh, two or three more times before I figure out exactly how I'm going to do these rooms. Capybara, self tame. Well, let's. No, we'll leave those alive for now. We can butcher them later. Alright. Dominica, you need to stop being crazy. producing more blocks, which we'll want. Ah! Oh. Heat wave ended. Good. Let's stop holding these open. And we'll drop these to 10 Fahrenheit. Woo! Problems. Um, let's not carve out anymore. Let's start by doubling our wall. At least to an extent. Yeah, so we have problems, obviously. This is collapsing. Well, we'll deal with it. Let's see if we can. No roof, more of it. He's being attacked by a cobra. Oh no. Dominica. Come on, Max. Knock her ass out. Um, Max. Thank you. Jeez, Max. I need you to come over here. Thank you. You are free to go. Now, let's let's set up these zones. This is going to clear all let's set up critical priority. And you are allowed to have raw food. And you are allowed to have animal corpses. And mechanoid corpses. You are not allowed to have rotten. And your Good. Now, we set up another zone here. 
we can copy these settings, paste them, and do that. That'll do. We'll also put chocolate here. And we will put body parts here. Um, manufactured, we will put medicine and drugs in there. That's fine, we don't care about this. Now we should start getting our food taken in. All right, you know what we don't have? We don't have one of the most important things in this game, a research bench. And yeah, I realize my stuff is just scattered everywhere, but sometimes that is the way that it has to be. We'll do this forever. And we will butcher creature and we'll do that forever. Now, who is our cook? You are. So once they run out of stuff to mine. They should start hauling. Cleaning. And getting this base generally organized. Good, our first food is going in here. It is 18 and 15. And 16. You are set to 10. We don't want you at 10. We want you at 0. I want to make sure that stuff stays frozen. Ah, I need to remove food. And medicine and drugs from that list. Search. Let's start with industrial cooling so we can actually get this place piped up in a simpler way. My intention is to set up a centralized HVAC and run different temperatures from there. It's nice to have enough power. Oh, Big V, you probably got crushed. Nope, you got a, you got beaten by Tater. Tater beat you. Good job, Tater. You are almost done with your smoke leaf withdrawal. Thank God. No intention of wearing drugs for that crazy old poop. Yeah, I just called it that. I am not country. Eh. Whatever.
Eventually, I'm gonna have to turn this into a real room. Need more bedrooms right now. I have enough. What we need to do is start laying out other rooms in the central complex that we got started. We get stuff hauled. We have so much stuff to haul. went through my roof. Um, this is bad. Okay, rescue Big V. You're free, you're free, you're free. Um, strip that guy, strip that guy. Okay. No, 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 no. Rescue Big V. Throwing grenades! <laughs> Crazy bastards. And they're from the Crazy Porcupine, so yeah, crazy. I guess it's accurate. You know what we're going to do? We're going to start out. By running a wall there. Run a wall here. We'll mine these out. So let's, let's not mine those out yet. I don't want them collapsing. And then we'll put a door in there, we'll, we'll remove this. And we'll run a power line this way, I think. And we'll move our construction and our research into here. And we'll turn this into more of a living area. And we'll carve out a room up here to put our dump stockpile. And that should clean up this area and turn it into a nicer living space. <coughs> because I do want a nice common area, even though the idea for the long-term growth of this place is 
decently sized little apartments for people um, with their own joy. They'll have their own little fridge, their own little dining area, their own TV area, their own bedroom, but pool and chess and the shooting range and the horseshoes and all of the communal joy stuff will still be out in one place. There will be a party spot, there will be a table there, there will be more food there. And that's probably going to be this zone eventually. And then I will turn a part of this into a garden so that they have a garden to spend time in. It might just be here. And the geo, more geo. And the food production will just be out here. But that is that is much further down the line. Okay, seriously guys, who has Holland? No one has Holland. Except for Max. Okay, Max, you're hauling for now. We'll deal with the rest of it later. Let's get some stuff taken care of. Alright. <clears throat> well, there's not much going at the moment, so we will call it for now. We've had at least one good raid and some craziness, and we've made some progress in other things, and we've got our kitchen working. And we will come back next time, and we will pick up and finish clearing out this central area and start building up a common area for the people. So, until then, good luck on the rim and happy gaming.